talked about job hunting and interview skills here before, but did you know it's possible to land a job based on your social media presence? We've seen it happen. In fact, it kind of happened to us, which we'll talk about at the end of this video. But social media can be a path to landing your dream job. So here are seven tips to do just that. First, the obvious. Create profiles on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or any other site where you use your real name. If you're going to use social media as part of your dream job strategy, keep in mind that potential future employers may and should be looking at your various profiles. So curate the kind of posts and content that will complement the position you're looking for. Number two, just like IR network with your friends online. Even more important than basic contacts and friends, get to know the movers and shakers in your industry. Follow them and interact with them online. By interacting with them and their content on a regular basis, you become an acquaintance. Now, be sure not to go overboard with this. You don't like and comment on every single post, but contribute where you can and often enough to get your name to stick. Number three, in addition to following friends and higher-ups, follow the companies you'd like to work for. By engaging these companies, you're kept up to date on new projects and possible new openings within the company. Some companies even post new job openings on their social media profiles before anywhere else. Number four, showcase your personality. Without being a self-promotion robot, talk about your work in a way that is unique to you and your passions. US News claims that about half of all hiring managers take into account the applicant's online personality when deciding who's gonna be the best fit for the job. You should also ensure that the personality you're projecting aligns with the type of job you're looking for. So professional, more casual, etc. Number five, demonstrate good communication skills in status updates, posts, and comments. By keeping your updates and comments clear and concise, you can demonstrate beyond a doubt that you can communicate effectively at work too. Number six, become the expert. This is a big one. If you only take one thing away from this video, become the expert. Become the expert. Become the expert. Help others in your field. Answer questions when you can. Blog about topics relevant to your desired position. For example, if you want to be a graphic designer, don't just showcase your work, but showcase like a Photoshop tutorial about how you made the work. Discuss your design decisions while posting a work in progress. Or show before, after, if you're hired to update a logo or website design. Show that you know your work inside and out. Become so helpful and knowledgeable that your followers can't hear the phrase graphic designer without thinking of you and your work. And finally, number seven, and also keep in mind that Career Builder has reported that 40% of all HR managers strive to find kind of well-rounded applicants when they're looking for someone for a position. So make sure that your social media isn't all about work. Include some of your hobbies and interests, maybe some travel photos, etc. Focus is good, but tunnel vision, not so much. And that is all we've got for you today. If you guys have any tips on this sort of thing, please let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. In the meantime, we're going to talk over the credits. Emma, we're talking over the credits. Words are scattered. Okay. Um, I'm ready. So we were going to talk about how the interwebs helped us professionally. Like, how it helped us get a job or two, actually, I think. Yeah. Well, so for me, first, um, I was, you know, I was online making vlogs in college, and through those vlogs, I met you. Yes. And at that time, I was trying to uh, to find an agent for my first novel, and Mike helped me revise my query pitch. Have we talked about this before on here? Yeah, just that's briefly. How, yeah, that's yeah. How, how we first, you know, our first collaboration was on my query pitch um, to help me find an agent. And so I did find an agent. So indir indirectly, I would say, social media led me to you, which led me to, to that. Yes, yeah. man, it's, uh, I'm really proud of you, by the way. I've, like, been there from the beginning, from, like, baby Emma, yeah. uh, <laughs> as a professional writer, so it's nice to see you walking and talking. No. <laughs> um, for me, like, I mean, How to Adult, obviously, yeah, came obviously from this, theater yeah, web, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, like... Um, some publishing success came from the internet because I made a video about, like, a Thoughts from Places video, which is a format that John Green, uh, invented, and he saw it, like, the first night I put it up, and he retweeted it, and from there he kind of became a fan of my videos, and then my book, and then How Do Adult happened, eventually, yeah. over the course of many months, but... Yeah, it's pretty amazing. The interwebs can be a scary place, but also a magical place. Agreed. 